Millions of years ago, giant prehistoric reptiles ruled the earth. Down here is a Triceratops herd. A baby Triceratops is following his mother. Triceratops is a large ceratopsian that lived in North America. Triceratops was the size of an elephant with a triculant stance of a rhino. Its horns above each eye curve four feet into the air, looking almost like inverted elephant tusks. Those horns are something T-Rex definitely shouldn't mess with. <coughs> Wait! What's that? A bird? No, it's a pteranodon. You must know that pteranodon is not a dinosaur. They are related though. When its wings spread, it can reach 23 feet in length. And boy, are they be they fly beautifully. Looks like that female pteranodon is returning to her baby after a fishing expedition. Here at Scree. Do these sounds sound familiar? You guessed it. Or oh, look down here. You hear it? Does it sound familiar? You guessed it. Look down here. Deinonychus, the terrible claw. Did you know that the skeleton of Deinonychus were first should to show the now infamous sickle shaped eight inch retractable foot claw? A killer claw is used for ripping open the guts of its prey. Deinonychus also has a nasty bite with over 60 knife like. So you better watch out for that claw, herbivores! Stop. Now, ladies and gentlemen, comes the end of our show. But there's one last dino I'd like you to see. You've seen her in the movies. You've known her in your imagination. She appeared in Jurassic Park. She was found and named Sue. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the queen of the Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus Rex! Oh. Okay, perfect, 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 beautiful.